Hi there everybody, it's Matthew Seville here at astrolandscapes.com and I thought I would record this video really quick just because I've never really introduced the uh, Astro Landscapes kind of uh, website idea philosophy yet and I am here in uh, the middle of nowhere as usual with wildflowers all around me and it is beautiful and it smells lovely as well actually. I wanted to dedicate this video to the types of photography that astrolandscapes.com is going to be about. It's not necessarily about astrophotography or landscape astrophotography. What I want the website to be about is all types of photography, even this, where the real world is so beautiful that you just don't need to do anything fake. And that's the philosophy that I've personally developed over the past few years since I've seen so many uh, people online creating landscape photos that have big giant moons in the corner that really don't belong there. Uh, all sorts of weird stuff and just in general going over the top with your creating things in Photoshop making your images basically digital art. There's all sorts of stuff out there these days. And you know what? I respect all forms of art. Digital art, photo manipulation, photo compositing, that's, that's art and you're welcome to enjoy that. I don't think any form of art should be respected any less than another. But photography is unique in all of the forms of art in that it is at least capable of being a forensic-like documentation of a scene, a place, an event. My whole entire goal in photography, now at least, as a landscape photographer, is to use astronomy and all sorts of other phenomenons, including weather, this is an El Nino, it's maybe a hundred year bloom, I don't know, all sorts of natural phenomenons can be predicted and lined up with your uh, the moon set at sunrise or the moonrise at sunset. All sorts of different things. Today, especially in modern technology, there's apps on your phones for all kinds of stuff. You can create amazing, beautiful photos without having to quote unquote fake anything. So that's what I want to prove or help, uh, help other people uh, master is getting amazing, beautiful photographs without having to do anything fake. I edit my photos, of course, I color correct them in, uh, well, I, would, I was gonna say Lightroom, but actually I don't really like Lightroom much at all. I'm using Capture One a lot more now, but that's a whole different video. I color correct my photos, but I don't create something that wasn't there. I don't add or subtract major elements in a scene. That's just my personal philosophy. So that's what I want to do with this website. I hope that astrolandscapes.com is a resource for other people who are interested in anything from predicting the weather and catching a beautiful sunset with the clouds in the right place to predicting a spring wildflower bloom or predicting the moonrise or the moonset or the, the planets are very, uh, very cool. Sometimes they uh, line up with the moon or this or that. Anyways. All sorts of natural, naturally occurring stuff out there is very beautiful and I just want to be there to photograph it. So thanks for coming with me on this adventure and I hope you enjoy it. 